Today's show is dedicated to harness racing friend and hockey legend Rick McLeish, who passed away this week. Rick was known for scoring the most important goal in Philadelphia Flyers history. In Game 6 of the 1974 Stanley Cup Finals, his game-winning goal brought the Flyers their first championship. We were so fortunate to have this incredible athlete join us on Post Time. Let's remember him with this feature when Rick was a special guest on a past episode. Rick McLeish isn't a horse whisperer. He didn't grow up around horses and he doesn't live on a farm. However, he may know how a racehorse feels better than anyone. You see, Rick is a retired hockey player and understands the work that goes into being on the front line in a professional sport, whether that athlete has two legs or four. The owners don't have to do any of the work. They have to sit back and collect the money. The horse does all the work. You know, you train uh, hired all your life. You know, they say all you do is make money, but you know, you gotta go up and go to practice every day, whether it's for an hour or two hours, but it's every day. Like racehorses, McLeish, who was born on January 3rd, 1950, in Ontario, Canada, seems to have been destined for his occupation. I guess I started around two and a half, three years old, and uh, I started, I played my first uh, official game, I guess, back then when I was about four years old. And, uh, well, you know, in the United States you play baseball and stuff like that. In Canada, where from, you play hockey. The three-time All-Star played over 800 National Hockey League games on five different teams during the 1970s and 80s. Drafted by the Boston Bruins in 1969, McLeish was traded to Philadelphia shortly thereafter and played with the Flyers until 1981. In addition to ranking fourth on the Flyers' all-time leaders list in assists, with 369 and points with 697, Rick was inducted into the Philadelphia Flyers Hall of Fame in 1990. And he was part of two championship teams. The first time that got the most memorable uh, thing, we beat the Boston Bruins in 1974. And then repeated, um, we beat Buffalo in 1975. It was while he was playing in the city of brotherly love that he became not only a hockey hero, but also a harness racing enthusiast. I guess it was 1970, 71. Uh, uh, we were in Clement, we, we had an apartment in Clementon, so every day practice we would go by Stafford Farm. So one day I stopped in and they were all hockey fans and stuff like that. And that's the main reason I've never owned another horse without, you know, without Ben Stafford. I've known Rick since I've been Knee high. Uh, Rick played for the Flyers in the mid 70s and uh, became friends with my dad and uh, had horses on and off for him for years. Just seems to be one of those guys that, you know, he buys the right horses and he hasn't had a lot of horses, but he's had some nice horses. Being a professional hockey player, McLeish is familiar with a strict training schedule, similar to that of our equine performers. And over the years, he's also proven to be as durable as our standard bred athletes of the sport. I've had my nose broken five times. I've had seven operations on my knees. I had a gash on my neck of 186 teeth. Uh, no deep, uh, still got one teeth though. So as long as you keep your mouth shut, you'll be all right. <laughs> Same people on the ice. McLeish against Shepard. McLeish controls to Dupont. Dupont throws it and scores! Rick had such a great personality and was such a gift to our sport. Thank you, Rick, so much for your support of the standard bread industry. The harness racing world will miss you deeply.